we'd like to welcome Sports Showtime producer Patrick Clay onto the show for this week's Eye on NOLA. Morgan, thanks for having me. No problem at all, Patrick. Patrick, you literally just got back from NOLA Seriously, about a couple hours ago yep. for the Pelicans Media Day. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, Morgan, uh, honestly, for the Pelicans Media Day, mm -hmm. it was a day of new. Uh, a new name, new faces, a new uniforms, and a new practice facility. It's obvious the New Orleans Pelicans are ready to carry this momentum into the season. And speaking of new faces, I got to talk to one of the Pelicans' newest additions from the offseason, 7-foot center Greg Steemsma, to get his thoughts about his new team and the new season. We're here with Greg Steamsma of the New Orleans Pelicans. First of all, Greg, welcome to New Orleans. You liking it so far? Yeah, thanks. Glad to be here. Um, it's been a fun city so far. Got used to this heat a little bit, but uh, but loving it so far. It's definitely different than up north, huh? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> uh, hopefully, this heat, I've heard humidity. This humidity leaves a little bit, but we'll see. Well, uh, let's get right to it. Uh, you guys, there's a big center battle going into training camp that's starting soon, and uh, between you, Jason, uh, Jeff, even Anthony Davis, just talk about that battle that you guys are going to be facing this season. Uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Um, you know, I think competition brings the best out of everybody, so we're, we're definitely going to take it at each other and, uh, you know, try and get better every day. What was it that got you to come to New Orleans, uh, Dell Dems' pitch to get you to come here. What, what made you think it would be a good fit? Um, I think just the opportunity to, to be a big part of this team. Um, you know, obviously with the, the center position kind of being open, um, looking to be a big role is, and step up into that role. And uh, just to be with a coach that's got a defensive minded first and, uh, you know, being a part of an up and coming team. Uh, it's going to be a fun young team to play, be a part of. You mentioned the style of play that you bring. It seems like there's going to be a bit of a block party in New Orleans. Yeah, I think uh, there's not going to be a lot of easy buckets here. That's that's for sure. And I think that's what we're that's what we're going to go for too. That's going to be our goal. Um, that's been my mentality for a long time. Is nothing easy in the paint, and we definitely got some guys that can block shots. Greg, uh, talk about just you're kind of one of the elder statesmen of this team. Um, you know, I'm not going to stretch too far and um, you know step out of what I need to be. You know, lead by I'm a lead by example kind of guy. And, just come in and work hard, and uh, guys seem to follow that. And then who knows? Then you never know when you go from there. So um, we're looking to just be consistent all year, win the games we have to, or win the games at home, take over home court, and then uh, uh, win some, win a lot of games on the road, and we'll see, we'll see what happens. In two seasons, Steensma has averaged just under four points and 15 minutes per game. Now today's media day also marked the first time Pelicans forward Ryan Anderson spoke to the media since the unfortunate passing of his girlfriend Gia Aleman, who took her own life early last month. Anderson said being able to be back with his team has helped him through this difficult time. Even just coming here, you know, I, I'm really glad that Coach asked me to come back when he did. Um, I've been here for a few weeks now and just being around the guys and being back in the gym, just having some sort of a uh, routine back. It helps a little bit. Now, obviously, our thoughts and condolences are with Ryan and the Alamon family at this time. Tough situation. I think you said it best. There's not really much else you can add to the situation other than we hope Ryan Anderson can get through it and uh, move forward with the season.